cash paid to business expense like office expense uh, which is related to operating activities now we are talking related to operation business operation if you add uh, whatever you are adding for the opening balance available in the cash or cash equivalent okay so finally uh, the balance we are getting which is nothing but the cash and cash equivalent to end of the year under indirect method is for the more uh, preferable because it is uh, easier to get the information based on the accounting record whatever you are maintaining in your company Hello everyone a warm welcome to one and all I am Natesh lecturer in commerce with us from first grade college Mysore the temple of excellence we are in the unit 3 section 2 fourth semester bba management accounting the chapter name is cash flow statements so the management are using uh, the cash flow statement to uh, go for the decisions making related okay so easily they can check the performance of the company so in the last section i have explained completely related to the theory factors and today my agenda is the type of uh, cash flow statements okay so we are using a direct method and indirect method so direct method and indirect method you will get uh, more clarity about the before starting a problem so we uh, we just uh, recalling the activity we called uh, uh, which is called for the operating related activity again uh, in the operating activity inflow and outflow and investment activity inflow and outflow and the financial activity which is inflow and outflow will we'll find out the net uh, uh, operating cash uh, net uh, net investment activity net financial activity so moving forward so the first uh, we majorly we classified a direct method and indirect methods so here under the first one the direct method format the format of statement cash flow statement as per accounting indian accounting standard 7 we are try to prepare so we must remember the three important activity uh, which is going in the business or company so the first one cash flow from the operating activity so again uh, from the complete business related what and all you are expecting okay so either which is inflow or and outflow we need to identify the item is very important before starting a problem so the first one operating cash receipt because the business or company or organization what and all uh, they are receiving okay so the which is a inflow okay whenever they are receiving no doubt which is a inflow only for operated related okay so once you started business no doubt uh, which is starting from the production okay again which is going for the sales so which is also called uh, which is coming under the operating activity so the first one on how you are receiving a cash uh, because of sales only the cash sales uh, okay so there are two types of uh, uh, sales will be happening here cash sales and credit sales cash sales immediately which is going to receipt nature okay which is uh, you are expecting a cash from the customers okay and again if you are going for the credit sales no doubt within one year you you want to expect money from the debtors because the customer you sold credit basis so again the cash received from the customer which is we call it as a debtors here and uh if anything which is related to when you are doing a trading if you are receiving any commission no doubt which is based on the trading only you are receiving a trading commission received so which is coming under the receipt nature and no doubt uh, if the uh, royalty is received again you have to write under the category of operation from the receipt okay for uh, from the inflow you are try to subtract all the outflow means uh, which is operating cash uh, payment payment is going money is going cash is going so why it is going because uh, if you want to start production of course you are purchasing material from the supplier so no doubt uh, when cash purchase immediately the cash is going so if you are purchasing based on the credit uh, credit supply okay so no doubt you cash paid to supplier which is a creditor you have to pay for the creditors because uh, unless you are not getting a materials you cannot take any steps to go for okay so that's why now cash paid to business expense like office expense uh, which is related to operating activities now we are talking related to operation business operation and uh, even the manufacturing expense and selling and distribution expense okay so from the receipt if you subtract the operating payment uh, okay from the receipt inflow minus outflow no doubt we are getting a cash generated from the operation so again we need to pay for the income tax right so which is coming under the operation so we need to subtract the income tax so once you subtract immediately whatever we are getting so which we call it as a net cash flow from the operating activity which is complete operation business operations related receipt and payment okay so moving forward 
So again, the second category, a second activity, we call it as uh, uh, cash flow from the investing activity. Again, when you are talking related to investing activity, there also you, you can find out receipt and outflow, inflow and outflow. So here, how we are receiving, okay? So here, the receipt uh, proceed from the sale of uh, fixed asset. When you sold property, when you sold a fixed asset, obviously you are receiving a cash because of investment you made early. So again, the proceed from the sale of tangi intangible assets like goodwill, so uh, which is also you are receiving, right? So the proceed from the sale of investment, if you are trying to invest, uh, if you are going to sell any investment, whatever you are holding, so that is also you are receiving a cash. Okay, next, uh, no doubt uh, uh, at the time of going for investment, you are expecting a interest or dividend, right? So interest when you can expect you lend a loan, you lending loan to any substitute company. So based on the loan, whatever you lend, you are collecting interest. And the same thing, when you are going for uh, rising a capital, okay, so for example, you are investing to any particular company share. So obviously, uh, dividend you are received, so which is coming under the investment activity, right? Right? So next one and the disposable of joint venture and uh, uh, subsidiary association okay uh, either you are trying to go for disposal of a joint venture you are uh, running a already your venture you are coordinating with the other companies okay so you are trying to go go from the out of the venture so again you are re receiving money from this whatever you received. So again, the rent received uh, and the purchase of fixed asset because whenever you're purchasing an asset, uh, your money is going, okay? So obviously, uh, uh, which is coming under the investment activity, you're purchasing that, uh, that is nothing but your investment, okay? And investment, purchasing fixed asset as well as investment. And the payment is going, no doubt, which is an outflow. And the purchase of uh, intangible assets like uh, goodwill, you're purchasing an intangible assets. Uh, and the next one, uh, investment and acquisition of subsidiary or joint venture association. You are trying, you are willing to go for uh, uh, go for joint venture with other company or substitute company. Your payment, uh, uh, your money is going out. Uh, so we call it as an outflow, right? So, so uh, from the receipt, uh, okay, we need to subtract all the payment related. Okay, so no doubt we are getting a net cash from the uh, investment activity. Uh, receipt minus payment. If you do you will get uh, investment activity net cash okay available moving for the no last category our last activity we call it as a cash flow from the financial activity again we are rising we are depending on finance uh, we are trying to go for investing okay uh, we are trying to go for operated we are trying to rising a fund how we are rising a fund okay so uh, whenever you are rising a fund uh, either you are uh, going through the uh, share capital okay or debenture preference share equity shares so our bank loan okay so whenever you are approaching a bank loan so obviously you are receiving a money okay so no doubt the proceed issue of shares uh, whenever you uh, you are issuing to the shareholders you are accepting a money okay your share capital are receiving in nature so issue of shares or debenture okay next one the proceed from other long term borrowing okay to start a business you need to you need to finance you are approaching a bank or institution financial institution where you can get the financial support so you are receiving from the receive of course you need to go for payment uh, so which is a dividend and interim uh, paid because you are depending on the co company like joint stock company no doubt they are depending a share capital so whenever they are uh, depending a share capital they want to pay for the dividend either uh, dividend can be a partial dividend interim dividend no doubt no problem so the dividend and interim dividend paid uh, so you need to pay for the shareholders the payment is going okay next one interest on debenture or loan paid because you you borrowed financial support from the financial institution of course you need to pay for the interest so which is going for the financial expense and the repayment of loan because uh, uh, when you are uh, borrowing a loan uh, which is receipt nature whenever you are trying to repay so which is going for the payment side so repayment of loan so uh, redemption of debenture preference share so which is one kind of a payment settle we are settling the debenture and uh, preference share holders okay so no doubt uh, from this if you try to go for subtracting receipt minus payment 
so net cash from uh, financial activity so after getting a net cash flow whatever the three category operating net uh, net cash flow uh, cash from the operating activity net cash from the investment activity and the last one net cash from the financial activity we need to add okay so whenever the subtractions which is uh, we will specified in the bracket minus column payment is means minus column bracket if you specify so taking all the activity total okay so finally we are writing okay so the first one uh, operating activity net cash flow and the, even the cash and cash uh, relevant what and all you have a bank balance uh, okay and uh, marketable security so which is coming under the cash uh, equivalent items okay so after taking all this one uh, taking the two activity to total together we are writing out a column so from this we need to add for the opening cash cash or cash relevant to opening balance okay if you add uh, whatever you are adding for the opening balance available in the cash or cash equivalent okay so finally uh, the balance we are getting which is nothing but the cash and cash equivalent to uh, end of the year okay so end of the year we are getting uh, one more time here the cash uh, whatever you have from the uh activities like operating activity investment activity and a uh, uh, financial activity so we need to add uh, not only for the cash and cash equivalent uh, bank balance or marketable security short period so that is also we need to consider after taking the opening okay finally we are getting after adding we will get the end of the year or uh, moving for the which is uh, whatever you are getting the format will be continue here so here the add cash and cash equivalent at the beginning of the year so either it is a cash or cash equivalent related cash in hand means directly cash at bank which is one kind of equivalent and the short term deposit uh, which is coming under the cash equivalent and the marketable security which is coming under the cash equivalent item so uh, uh, so whatever the which is uh, related for the uh, receiving nature the same thing here the cash and cash equivalent at the end of the year so yes i have clearly specified if the two years is given or balance sheet so separately we can also add okay so here close opening balance as well as closing balance so we need to specify in separate so taking the total we need to add for all the three activities okay and uh, under indirect method uh, slight changes we are finding here so the under indirect method adjust accrual basis accrual basis means you are expecting in the future okay so net profit or loss for the affected of the non cash transaction which is not treated as a cash but it is having a value for the cash okay so and uh, direct method provide more understandable information not uh, disclose uh, under uh, indirect method under uh, indirect method the complete information the disclose accounting information what and all item uh, which is not giving a more transparent okay under indirect method is for the more uh, preferable because it is uh, easier to get the information based on the accounting record whatever you are maintaining in your company okay moving for the format here so the format uh, you need to write the title the format of statement of cash flow as per accounting standard indian accounting standard 7 we are depending so obviously uh, again the same thing here the cash flow from the operating activity whatever it is there if it is the la balance year net profit is there means immediately net profit as per pnl account uh, because the pnl account whatever they clearly specified so we need to take uh, okay the difference between closing balance and opening balance the difference if the two years is given so we need to consider here or oh, add transfer to reserve add to add transfer to reserve for example you have you have transferred right so from this uh, transfer the proposed dividend from the current year how much you have proposed uh, okay uh, because of transfer direct transfer and you want to pay for the uh, shareholders dividend so that's what you have to create a provision so which is coming under the proposed dividend for the current year and the interim dividend paid during the year so we need to adjust here okay so the provision for taxation may during the year so after adjusting finally what we are getting so which is nothing but uh, net profit before tax so till year it is an after tax so we need to find out uh, net profit before tax after getting the net profit uh, before tax we are going further year so uh, adjusting for non cash and uh, non operating items so which is not directly related to your operation okay now then also we need to consider identify the cash and cash equivalent items add depreciation uh, preliminary expense uh, discount on issue of shares and debenture return off okay so interest on borrowing and debenture loss on sale of fixed assets so which is coming under the we need to adjust here 
So after adding all this item, so finally we need to subtract the interest and dividend uh, rent received. Okay, if you subtract, uh, so finally whatever we are getting, no doubt uh, profit and sale of fixed also we need to subtract from this less category. Okay, so if you try to adjust the finally what we are getting operating profit before working capital, before working capital, working capital how you will get to know current assets minus current liability. So easy formula to find out the working capital after getting the uh, operating profit before working capital so immediately we need to add for it, decreasing in the current assets and increasing the current liability so which is related to accept cash and cash equivalent item only we need to add here okay so here and after adjusting something uh, finally we need to subtract uh, opposite increasing in the current asset and decreasing in the current liability we need to adjust so again the condition is very clear here accept cash and cash equivalent so finally after adjusting we will get cash generated from the operation okay which is completely operation uh, within the operation in the indirect complete information complete record transactions will be shown okay so moving to uh, here after getting the cash generated from the operation we need to subtract from the income tax okay after subtracting then only we will get a net cash flow from operating activity okay so in the direct method detail information is not shown but indirect method we are completely showing the all the information adjusting opening and closing okay now we are moving to the cash flow from investment activity where you as per the direct method however uh, you the format is followed the same thing you need to follow here so same as uh, the direct method format okay no doubt received minus payment related so then uh, finally we are try to go for cash flow from the financial activity so same format we need to go uh, we need to follow uh, how uh, in the direct method what format we follow the same format receipt minus payment so finally if you are getting a positive or negative no doubt uh, which is a net increase or a decrease uh, decrease in the negative size increasing the positive size okay the cash and cash equivalent so three category uh, take the submission okay so now for this we need to add a cash and cash equivalent at the beginning of the year oh, which is clearly specified in the question we need to add after getting the net increase or decrease cash and cash equivalent we need to add this item so finally we will get to know the cash and cash equivalent at the end of the year keep on watch for next section thank you